All right. We're in there for Final Fantasy VII. This is finally a game that I'm not playing emulated. Or like, not really emulated. So I'm pretty excited for that. Um, the program is a little bit scuffed. You have to use the keyboard and mouse, or I guess just the keyboard really, to do the menu navigation, but then you can, looks like I'm just hanging on a little bit over on my uh, voice volume. Um, you can use the controller in game, but you can only use the analog stick, which seems really weird. The D-pad doesn't seem like it responds. So, it's a bit strange, but I think I think we can work with it. It's nice to have first party support. I get achievements now, which is pretty cool. Who doesn't like achievements? We're on the PlayStation now, finally. It's been a long journey. Through the Nintendo and Super Nintendo. We're all Sony all the time now. Nintendo's behind us. I guess if I ever go and play Crystal Chronicles as one of the guiding games, I think that'd be a lot of fun, honestly. I really liked Crystal Chronicles when I was younger, and I'd love to go back to it. But we got a ways to go before we get into the guide segment of our program. I don't know if this is like how faithful this port is to be honest. I hope it's pretty good. It looked like it from like the little that I saw, so I have I have high hopes, but yeah, it does look like I'm still peaking a little bit now and then, but I can't tell when. I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful of my production quality. Which is not a high bar given that I have traditionally carried fairly little, but I'm trying. It's wild to go from Final Fantasy VI to this and be like, this was just like the evolution of the game, or the genre. Long around, run. Yeah, menu's on square, which seems really weird. When I scroll past these, it wants to like nudge these, uh. What do you call it? Oh, I didn't know you could do custom. Magic orders. Where's my restore attack? It's only restore indirect attack? I didn't even know this was an option to be honest, but it's pretty sick. Recommended. I'm guessing this means it's only like it probably pauses when you're in menus, similar to like what Final Fantasy VI did, where if you were just hovering over attack, enemies could act, but once you're like nosing around in your inventory or magic menu, they can stop. Let's see if we want the cursor. Oh, yeah, we can customize the window color. There's all sorts of cool options. I can't do sound config in here, I guess. It's a little bit loud in my ears. It looks like it's fine on the stream, but it's, uh, it's coming through a little hot on my end. Anyway. Loot some bodies. Oops. I thought Square was run for some reason. I get this fine. Yeah, I'm not used to having the menu on triangle, so this is going to be like its own weird adjustment. The early, the initial adjustment was, uh, this game and Final Fantasy Tactics were both released before X had become the dominant selection paradigm in America. And so they both used circle by default for selecting things. Um, which most games that I played didn't. And so I remember it being very confusing to me. Um, just I was like, I don't know like how to, how to get this to do the things that I wanted to do. Okay, 
guy really knows my life story, huh? I don't like trying to scroll with my uh, D-pad. This is gonna take some getting used to. Him. He's a he's a cool dude. He's a cool customer. I can't see the clock now. That's one problem. I used to, so when I was playing on emulators, I just had them windowed. I guess I could play this game windowed too. That might be easier. Uh, Cause yeah, it also looks like the aspect ratio is kind of best. I can try to fix that later. Is that smooth? I don't remember. Oh, he's gonna attack anyway. I was hoping that since the dog attacked me first, I'd be able to kill the guy before he got to attack, but they both went at the same time. How embarrassing. Wait, I got magic? Oh, yeah, magic. I do have magic. I was gonna say I just took damage to find that out, but I didn't. So I do 88 damage with magic, assuming I'm not hitting like any elemental weaknesses. I didn't see how much damage I did with my normal attacks. Okay, I want to check some of this other places out. Nothing up here. Fine. Yeah, controlling this game with the analog stick feels kind of weird to me for some reason. I guess, so the the keyboard they want you to use, I mean, you have to be using, like, uh, the directional keys, so there's no analog input in Okay, so magic just does, like, base more damage than physical attacks, it looks like. Yeah, if I do like 80 just with a any random magic. Feels like a buff. E magic's always been good. Yeah, what's this guy doing? Good. Escape passage. I feel like that's supposed to be escape route. Furnace. All this weird stuff going on that I can't tell. How much of that is intentional to make him sound like he's got just like weird idioms? Oh, the other thing that I can do, I forgot. Oops. Oh, oh, dang it. I accidentally switched rows. Yeah, the analog stick can be a little bit touchy. Oh, I need to. What do you call it? Oh, are these things you, sh you need to use magic on them. Uh, I think you need a special materia to do all attack magic. Or maybe you need to level it up, or it's a different command. There's a lot of possibilities. I also didn't pay very close attention to how much damage that magic dealt. It was enough to one-shot it, so like, obviously it's the play, but... I don't know if like just attacking. Yeah, so you get a, you get them in two attacks, or you can do one magic cast and get there. Seems pretty reasonable. Oh yeah, what's my gear set setup look like? I don't have magic. I don't have materia. Not even. I'm a natural. Most impressive. I forget what they actually teach you about material in this game. Eventually. Cloud talks Mac. Now he's on a uh, bear shit list. I should have talked to Jesse. I screwed up. Hey, what's over here, though? Hang on. Which 
treasure. Shiny golden treasure box. Oh, Phoenix Tower? Yeah. Actually, what is my, what is my healing supply level? Like one ether, five potions to Phoenix Tower. I mean, two of these potions I looted off dudes, so. Don't give you a ton, but. I mean, also the enemies don't seem that threatening. And does Spirit know for my damage? It's a simple man. I do feel like these are. Maybe I've did a porch. I, I honestly, it's been so long since I played FF7, I can't remember what the porches used to look like. Got it, Jesse. Switch on. That's her mouth open. Oh. She looks perpetually surprised. I oh, had the elevator lecture. Shaking his fist. Why, yeah, yada. He's gonna thump me. It's not wrong to do so. I can't get on here. Nice. There's anything up here. Maybe it's also just a product of like me having weird fake materia. Okay, right. Just a cool place to go run around. Fair enough. I'm surprised that with these pure rendered backgrounds, they like let you run around. Places you can't get to, basically. I barely just smoked it. What? Oh, I wonder if they're in the back row, and that's why they de why they take less damage. It's a little harder to tell with this 3D camera. I mean, the battles definitely look really cool as a result. I mean, like, yeah, it's it's hard to understand just how wild it is to see. Technology team. Especially going directly from FF6. See, I wish they would have put something on top of that other ladder, and then it would have felt like, oh, like, I already knew this because I used it to explore that ladder where I saw a treasure chest. It's prior telling you how to pick stuff up, right? Nope. Still ladder lessons. Understandable. Have a nice day. The song's so good. Hey, yeah, the PS, the PlayStation music was also extremely strong. Okay. So there's just kind of like a lot going on for it in general. Yeah, they must be in the back row. So they take less damage because of that. But then Barrett gets to ignore that advantage of theirs. That's pretty nice. Barrett just having a, like, native long range attack is pretty sick. Again. Well, sorry, I had to yawn. But anyway, I feel like at this point in this franchise, tactics for individual random encounters feel like they're rarely important. You can just kind of do stuff. Um, and also dungeons just aren't long enough to really like tax your resources in the same way. Um, I got a lot of different memory slots. Um, I wonder if, if I played Final Fantasy VI again, if I put my saves on a different memory slot. I have no idea how that save corruption works, unfortunately. So it's really hard for me to say. 
one. I'm curious what this... Oh, so now it shows that he's got two material in his Buster Sword. I wonder if they have them so that you can't unequip them on accident. They're like, look, we're just gonna... Oh, is Materia a different menu? I bet it is. Yeah, 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 that's right. You equip stuff, and then you can also, like, access the Materia afterwards. Yeah, they don't want you to invest with any of this. The Gatling got the bronze bagel. Well, I wonder what Dexterity does. Oh, and then it shows you all your status resistance. That's actually really cool. Deaths and manipulate. Wow, what is peerless? I wonder. There's a lot of these that are kind of like. Who knows? Oh, and they called it, I guess, barrier and end barrier instead of protect and uh, shell. Oh, you can get sadness in this game. It's so sad. I guess is fury the same as berserk? It must be. No, there's two different entries. One is fury and one is berserk. There's also confusion and manipulate as different statuses. And then slow numb. Slow stomp frog. Yeah, okay, I wonder what all these stats are actually for. Like magic makes sense. I think spirit is magic defense and vitality is maybe HP plus physical defense. Strength is attack. Maybe dexterity is physical defense. Luck is luck. For some reason, L1 doesn't scroll backwards through my roster. R1 goes forwards and will wrap around, but L1 just doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm surprised that Cloud just has, like, worse physical stats than Barrett. Oh, and then there's attack at the bottom. So I guess these are, like, my aggregate stats of, like, defense... I guess defense percent and attack percent are like hit chance and miss chance, or like dodge chance, respectively. And then maybe magic attack is just your magic unless you have a weapon that specifically juices your magic attack. And yeah, it looks like spear is also just straight up your magic defense. Unless you've got like a cool item or something that gives you otherwise. I thought actually less... Strong than Barrett, but has a better sword, it looks like. Sword better than gun. Classic sci fi trope. No material, what up? Are you gonna tell me how to use this? Never mind. Can't be done. Simply is it done? I don't hook a junk. know whoever said that to him, even though I've like played most of this game. I never did actually beat this. I got I never went, wanted to like commit to going through the crater. So I always ended just deep in disc three or whatever. I guess maybe it'll be more obvious than I'm thinking. Yeah, magic seems like the move for sure. Not like I'm in a huge hurry here, so 
I guess I could save the magic for us easily or something, but I'm doubling up my damage just seems very tempting. Yeah, now it's uh, it is the time to not attack. Uh, that's I remember that text prompt being very confusing, and now I get why. It's supposed to be a comma there. Like, if you attack while its defense is up, it's going to counterattack. Not urging you, hey, attack while its tail is up. Which feels like the natural takeaway from just seeing that first piece of the puzzle. I didn't realize that this was the thing in FF6 either until I, I fought that boss and I was like, oh yeah, this classic first boss teaching you when you're allowed to attack a target versus not. But they do, it shows the achievement sequence server thing. Yeah, I had to log in with my Square Enix account to play this game. I was like, this seems excessive. I don't know if that's truly necessary here. Oh, new gun for Baron? Same word? Yeah, the Karnak 500 returns. Stops well. Good menu. So it's not like 42. I don't know, maybe it doesn't. Neat. Where are you now? Unlike Karnak, unfortunately, they don't give you a bunch of cool optional fights for treasure. Which, I mean, it makes sense. It's an early game dungeon, so they're not gonna like expect you to make those sorts of risk reward calls, but could have been neat. I think give you achievements for just pushing the little brick button with different characters, but you know what? That's certainly a thing that they can do. Yeah, putting like treasure somewhere down there. It's hard to figure out, like, how would you want to add treasure that only appears during the danger time, since you do come through here initially, like, 
out of danger. I thought we had to do like the... the puzzle thing. Oh, that's in the second reactor, that's right. The puzzle comes later. Because that's the thing with um, Harris and Tifa. got made in like the mini game in the remake. I mean it's also a mini game. Can we get Cloud out of here without having to heal? Cause yeah I don't remember having to do that one under the gun was part of it. I was like that would be pretty mean of them if they were like yo you gotta escape from this place in 10 minutes and you have to do a mini game. Pre-rendered explosion. Straight cut to the CG? It's too good. That is an extremely annoying noise that Jesse is making. Alright. She had to really program that C4. All these hoodlums running around. Hello. A potion. Nice. Our propaganda game is going strong. I forgot about this little walk up to the station. I mean, look, I'm not going to take that turn. Oh, I got full heal? Yo! My extreme greed paid off in spades. I'd love to see it. Operation Don't Heal Cloud Through the Entire Reactor was an immense success. PlayStation sound design sounds like also putting in that good work out here. And the little idle animations. These battle screens really do look good. Which I mean, like, if you're gonna go hard on one part, I feel like battle is pretty good in, this, in these games. You spend a lot of time there. There's gonna be less soldiers, and there's not a lot of leader left at this point.
Sector 9 is kind of what else. I feel like you start with bigger numbers in this game. Yeah, starting on triple digit health is pretty... Hmm. Cloud is just tutting all over the place. What a fucking cool guy moment. He knows all the train schedules. He knows what train his homies are going to be on. <laughs> I always remember this scene for some reason. Barrett giving him the business, just stomp on the... ...the box. Hey, get the door. What a fucking show off. what I always do. <laughs> I forgot that Barrett censored swearing. Extremely team up, never mind. I didn't even know the half of it. She still looks perpetually surprised. Cloud just looks angsty. From the from the get-go. Got a gun for an arm. Calculating, huh? Flashy stuff. Corporate dystopia.
pizza. Destroy pizza. Training up. Takes money, idiot. Jaded train man. He's seen it all. Just not letting go this way or what? Oh, they do, wow. What up? It's the train graveyard. Just roll around on it? Hell, it will. Probably get smoked in here, right? Oh no, it's just regular things that I've popped before. I guess it makes sense in case you wanted to go explore. Don't want to give you too hard of a time. Just a slightly hard time. Yeah, this thing probably will take half damage from being in the background, I'm guessing. Nope. Maybe not. I don't know why the one that I fought earlier didn't die to one auto. Maybe I just low rolled or something. Critical miss. Unlucky. I don't remember when I have to go through the trinket here, to be honest. I thought it was pretty early. I also don't remember how long Midgard is, so. Wow. Not sure what's going on in that conversation, to be honest. We're just splitting up. Wait, come back. It's totally like the turn around in here. Like I didn't ask you for a hotel, kid. Oh, this is actually one selection. You can't. I was like, what's going on here? I'm... It's weird that they broke it where they did. I guess this guy's meant to be like a combat tutorial or something. Try me, dude. I am begging you. Come 
Why not? I should equip that iron bang while I'm thinking about it. Get some magic defense on me. Let's go. It's a pupper. Dried up old geese. I don't know why no way is not capitalized. I really do like this bed though. The freaking skull and crossbones. Uh, pillowcase. Very strong aesthetic. Much respect out of here. Can we just jump down? Oops. Where was I supposed to get it down? Ah. Uh, back steps. Real sneaky like. I don't know what this store is supposed to be. It does not appear to be open. I like that they kind of cut you loose around here though. It's like clear you're probably supposed to go talk to Barrett, but you can like, you know, poke around and talk to some folks. This is your first kind of like town experience. game. Listen, Barrett, I'm just trying to get to know the neighborhood. You got a problem with that? Professional, all right. I'm trying to keep it, keep it cool, calm, cool, and collected. Hell yeah. Don't want to talk to me. It's too bad. This cookbook open. Rivalry. 
rebel soldiers? <laughs> Hold me back. Hold me back. The Super Smash Brothers game. sounding as clown. He doesn't care about anything. He's a cool dude. Hero ignores the call. He also kind of like Young Link to me in this, when he was a kid, I don't know why. He's got these big old flappy boots. I'm surprised they just let people leave Soldier. If they like 
such hot shots. They just like walk away. It's like he just handed it his two weeks. It's like holding it down the bar. Like, give me a drink. Hey. hey I heard you. I want to talk to Marlene. You're not having it. Unfortunate. Crazy amount of tutorialization compared to previous games, though. They're like explaining how to use menus and stuff, and like how to run. complicated as well. I mean, guess it's, it's, it feels like it's kind of on par with Asperger's. <laughs> situation change. I think maybe it's like a stats change. because it feels like it's taking too long for the to go between realms. Oh, maybe it's actually picking up multiple presses all at once. Like if I hold it down, it's like auto sending a bunch of... Yeah, it definitely is. I didn't like re-push there, I just held it down a little too long. Tilt. So Tifa's got a little bit lower of a 
attack, but a really high accuracy. It also has pretty good accuracy. So I'll give Tifa the ice. Oh yeah, I need to give... Wait, I thought I bought an iron bagel. I thought I bought a secondary vehicle right there. It's not a... Weird. Oh yeah, so that was also like a weird misleading transition. Says the weapon guy upstairs. She means upstairs in this building, I think. That was the off-limits room before, I'm guessing. I did just get a fat paycheck from, uh... Barrett, though. <laughs> I forgot that they used Cloud as the tutorial character rather than the learner character. That's pretty sick. Yeah, they really like walk you through this in a way that earlier games did not. I think a lot of this is in the... What do you call it? manuals, but I don't remember exactly. Accessories. I forgot that there's weapons with different growth levels. That's pretty cool, honestly. So you can like power farm uh, material on some things. Oh yeah, I wanna see if they explain the stats in here. So I'll check the status thing after this. And then I, I'm guessing this explains some of like support materia. Yeah, all oh, that's right, you do need a, a special materia to get area of effect. This is actually a really cool system, like, they didn't do a ton with it, but what they did was really neat, to be honest. Being able to, like, modify materia with different support effects. Oh, I didn't realize it was a once per battle thing. That's pretty weird. Yeah, Cure All is definitely pretty sick. Oh yeah, and then yellow are like command material, right? So you get more uses as you level it up. Oh yeah, you get more copies, that's right. Oh, nice.
extraordinary material in the world. It's out there. Gotta know the status. Oops, I'm gonna have to invent this. Probably saying like some enemies are like stronger, weak against different things. Small. I like the name small for the condition. Mini is also very good, but small is kind of charming. Oh yeah, they made poison not be a thing anymore, right? Become intermediate. Senses like the Libra. That's cool. These guys all battle tutorial guys. Yeah. I don't know if they had different topics per dude. Does not appear to be the case. Wow, a save point.
Dang foreshadowing. Spoilers.
we're back. Let's go fight this reactor or something. I think this is the one. Wait, does that guy just have materia hanging out of his feet? Hold up. You want all materia? Hang on. And an ether. We're eating. I thought that there was easy access for all the materials that were in here, but I don't remember where. This guy was like a gangster. Johnny. Philosophical treat, man. Whatever you say, bro.
level 45. This guy's going into work at new. It's kind of easy. That's one way to avoid the super easy system, I guess. High potion for talking to a guy in a high pressure situation. without his hat on, his bandana, he looks way different. The perfect disguise. Build my confidence up here, Baron. Nope. Ether and a battle. We're fighting seahorses. Better limit breaks by using your old limit breaks. So just 
abandoned. Too many pencils, we gotta get her out of the action. So, this is the one where they end up dropping the plane. I think that's like the third mission. This is the one where Cloud falls and meets Aerith again. And then, like, bodyguards are from. like an extra setup tax is an interesting way of regulating AoE though. Because normally yeah, AoE is so strong. just go to the same place, I see. Unfortunate. Oh, she's gone. To her atonement lab. Ooh, I had a bag. I like how they put this one on the way to the save point. They're just like, yo, check this out. And they make them obviously both visible from the, uh, the ladder. Very good stuff. Take all out of here. 
Oh, Materia, sorry. It's Betty on him. Poison persists out of battle. Doesn't look like it. Which is a little bit of a bummer. I think that's one of the. I mean, I don't know. It, it actually should be really interesting to think about like where that breakpoint is and like what made Final Fantasy encounters start to get easier when. Wait, 
chest. Upstairs. Go out the same way we left the earlier reactor. I guess they're all the same at the point where a cloud can be the Or like have flashbacks based on layout. Yeah, I feel like all materia definitely is carrying the day. You can definitely imagine these events being more annoying if you didn't have it. It's not that much easier. Maybe I just got better over time. I mean, they also give you pretty good tools early on. Making back all the money that I blew on material, at least. Sounds very familiar. Looking elevator as well. Oh, this is where we have to do the. Uh, himself. Sephiroth also in the past tense.
Mr. President. This thing is pretty cool looking. Uh, they can't tell the difference between a soldier and a capital a caps lock soldier. out of ammo. Well, I got so many of those in the tank, I guess. get like real facial animation. Bear just looks angry all the time so I was wondering if they just like didn't have as much facial animation as they did in like FF6 for example because they were doing textures instead of sprites. But in that little cutscene definitely Tifa did some emoting with her face. Got a voice in my head. I forgot that they were shot at that, that far ahead of time. I mean, basically from the very first reactor. Oh yeah, I think the Zareth is the end. It's really good. Oh, it definitely is. I forgot that it had this little xylophone lead up.
the clouds like cool story, bro. Also something that they're like really uh, really putting out the feelers for early on. I should have I should have fixed your name. Oh, I screwed up. Spur of the moment. I'm just so used to taking the defaults. I forgot that this has the non-canonical default name. This guy. Buddy, pal. <laughs> it's a multi purpose man. <laughs> I don't do charity work, kid. All of them together chorusing. Just like you did, sir. Just going up or down. Oh, can I use this ladder? You do get to listen to the banging Turk theme though this whole time. I 
I'm sad you can't see the enemy names anymore. I feel like that was the thing. Man. Six. Maybe not. Maybe you had to scan to get enemy names. I legit already can't remember. It can't be a good sign. Slapstick treatment out here. Oh, so this barrel that I was looking at was legit just bait. Had no functionality. the good old corporate espionage you can expect in the uh, corporate dystopia world. <laughs> I'm just trying to recruit this flower girl. The slums are so good. All of Midgar, really, they just knocked out of the park for world building. Every time new soundtrack comes on, it's like, oh yeah, this song's also sick. Okay. Nice. Yeah. 
I'll just have a short session today since I was doing some setup and stuff earlier. But it's good to crank into a new game. It's fun to see all the things that they updated and uh, just poke around. Anyway, until 